Welcome to Medicare School Daily, where we help you understand Medicare, save money, avoid mistakes, and above all else, get the most out of your Medicare benefits. Now, today's topic is, can Medicare drop you? You know, there's nothing that would uh, bring more fear into our lives than the thought of losing our insurance, especially our health insurance. Why? Because if we go without health insurance, it could be very costly. There's some drastic financial consequences if we were to lose our health insurance. But the question is, can Medicare drop us? Can we lose our Medicare coverage? Can we ever be canceled? And so I want to address the issues of Medicare today and the possibility of losing your Medicare coverage. Now, Medicare has four different parts, as you probably know. Medicare, original Medicare is called A and B. Now, the only way that Medicare A and B can be dropped is if you don't pay your premiums. Now, for most people, Medicare A is free, right? As long as you have 40 quarters paid into the Medicare tax system, 10 years worth of work, Medicare A is free. So the likelihood of you losing A is like nil. But B does have a premium. Now this year, it's $144.60. And the only way that you can ever lose your Part B premium is if you don't pay your premium. They'll never uh, cancel you on A and B because you move. They'll not uh, cancel you because of your age. They cannot cancel you because of your claims. None of those issues will ever bring about cancellation. But if you don't pay your Part B premium, you could be canceled. Now, most of you uh, are on Social Security, or at least many of you are, and that Part B premium is coming out of your check. So the likelihood of you not paying that is like nil, uh, but you do have to pay the premium. Those of you that are not on Social Security, you're paying that on a quarterly basis, or they're withdrawing it from a bank account on a monthly basis, but you're responsible to make sure those premiums are covered for your Part B. So the only way A and B can be canceled is by lack of premium. Now, many of you that have chosen to stay in original Medicare A and B have a supplemental plan. Medicare pays well, but it does not pay all the expenses. You still have some responsibilities with expenses, and so many of you will buy a supplemental plan to fill in the gaps, uh, the fill in the gaps of the Medicare A and B. And again, supplemental plans have a premium. Right? you got to pay a monthly premium for these plans. Now, again, I'm just going to talk about an average. Most people today are on plans that are costing them somewhere between maybe $100 to $150 on a monthly basis. And so you must pay those premiums. Can they ever cancel a supplemental plan because of your age? No. How about because you move away? No. Why? Because supplemental plans are written for life and they are totally portable. If you move away from one state to another or one city to another, you'll take the supplemental plan with you. It goes with you. It is written for life. Now, they do have the right, if you move to an area where rates are going to be a little bit higher, they do have the right to raise your rate some. It's usually minimal if they do raise it, but the plan is yours as long as you pay your premium. So not because of age, not because of claims, uh, not because you move. That plan is yours for life. It just pay the premium. That's the only way they can cancel you is non-payment of premium. Now, also, I want to mention that most people today are paying these premiums through a bank draft. So you want to be sure that you keep your bank uh, records up to date with the insurance company, the right routing number and account number. So when they go in to draft that monthly premium, that money is there. If you move away, be sure if you change banks to let them know what your new routing number and account number is because those premiums are going to have to continue to be paid to be able to keep that coverage. It's the only way it can be canceled. It truly is yours for the rest of your life, just like A and B is. Now, some of you have chosen to do an Advantage plan. Uh, these are called C plans or replacement plans. Now, Advantage plans, the way you qualify for them is you do have to be enrolled in A and B, which means what? you got to pay your B premium. So if you don't pay your B premium, uh, you can be canceled off the Advantage plan. Now, some Advantage plans carry an additional premium. Some are zero premium but others have an additional cost, usually somewhere between maybe $20 to $50 a month. And so you obviously would have to pay that premium as well. But there is another way in which Advantage plans can be dropped, and that is the company itself can withdraw the plan. Now, they cannot withdraw the plan mid-year unless, of course, they go out of business. Very rare that that happens. But they can withdraw the plan effective December 31. These are written for one year at a time, January 1 to December 31. So if the plan is not doing well or the, uh, the company's not happy with the plan for whatever reason, they actually can withdraw the plan and then you would have to get a new uh, Advantage plan uh, for the following year. Another way in which you can lose Advantage plans is if you move. Advantage plans are written for specific service areas. A service area is typically a metro area or maybe an area where there's a lot of counties. The point is they're in, a, they're in a service area. And so if I move out of that service area and I move to another service area, a different metropolitan area, uh, then I'm gonna probably have to get a different Advantage plan. And so those Advantage plans in that area may be totally different. They could be similar, but you do have to change Advantage companies when you move from one area to another. Now, when it comes to drug plans, again, drug plans uh, have a premium. Now, in 
this scenario, if you have an Advantage plan, they've included the drug plan. So those two really go together. That is embedded. But if you have chosen with A and B with the supplemental plan, then your drug plan is separate. We call those standalone drug plans. And so again, uh, these supplemental plans do carry a premium, so you have to pay your premium. And those are very low, usually anywhere from about $13, maybe upwards to $70 or $80 on a monthly basis. So we got to pay our premium. We have to be enrolled in A or B to pay that premium. We pay our drug plan, whatever premium that they're charging. And then just like Advantage plans, drug plans can be withdrawn from the market. A company can pull a plan. Again, not mid-year, but they can cancel that plan at the end of the year, and it would not be available for the following year. You'd have to get a new plan if they indeed withdrew that particular plan and canceled it that way, or if you move out of the plan service area. So service areas um, uh, apply to Advantage plans as well as drug plans. So if you leave one area and move to another area, you'll have to get another prescription drug plan. They may have different plans or they may have similar plans wherever you're moving to, but we got to get a separate plan because that plan will be dropped once we've moved. All right, so those are the rules for uh, how Medicare can actually cancel or drop plans depending upon what kind of coverage you have. You have to live by these particular rules. To learn more, watch the related video or check out our most recent video. Also, be sure you click to subscribe for free and get notified every time we post a new video. To watch our complete Medicare workshop, go to medicareschool.com. And finally, when you're ready to compare all your insurance options and get free enrollment help from one of our Medicare school guides, call the number on the screen. See you next time.